Look at this shit. Here I am wondering why the leg that has this big patch in it is not the one that's wet. Bunch of crap. Gonna look for wood turtles, hopefully. Walk along the creek, see if I can see them hibernating in their slumber. It's uh it's like 40, low 40s right now, sunny, but uh, should get up close to 50 and hopefully see some of them basking maybe. See if my junk waders hold up. Probably not. This is a wood turtle. They don't all have a big gullet though, just this one. Their legs are usually red or yellow orangish red. That's why they got the nickname Old Red Legs, I guess. The shell is brownish gray with faint yellow lines, but may look different depending on their level of wet. The Latin name Glyptomies and Sculpta means engraved or sculptured, like uh, wood that is engraved or sculptured. When God invented wood turtles, he carved their shells from wood. Well, that didn't take too long. Oh no, he's moving. Oh, it's on top of another one. Oh man, they might be mating. Damn. If I didn't screw them up. Actually, while I was getting the camera out, I saw another one on the bottom right there. Might be hard because of the glare. I'm wearing polarized glasses, so it's easier to see. I'm gonna get out of here to not disturb this love connection here. There we go, number four already. In about five minutes. This one's just chilling. Looks like it's sleeping still. Head's not out. Those other two, their heads were out, the ones that were mating anyway. And uh, yeah, they will mate this time of year if it's warm enough. This is December. But um, yeah, pretty cool. Just hanging out on the bottom of these streams. Have you seen old red legs before? If you're in the gray part of this map, the answer is no or probably not. But if you're in the yellow part of the map, meaning you're a fast-talking Northeasterner or a weird-talking Wisconsin cheese-eating person, you might be in luck for wood turtles. See those little question marks? Those mean somebody claimed to find one here, but we think it's bullshit. It's cool just watching all the minnows swim around. Get spooked, nowhere to go. Chubs, looks like a chub right there. There's a little, oh, I see. I think there's a juvie wood turtle over here. I see a little cloud of dust over there. Let's go investigate. It's getting deep. It is, it's a little juvie wood turtle. Down there on the bottom, must've just moved out of there. About three feet deep, just chilling. All right, I'll see you later. Just walked up on this pool here. There's number six. And number seven. Maybe another one in here. Check it out. Checking out this little pool here with the binoculars. Way on the end of there, there might be a turtle. I can't tell. Uh, looks suspiciously like a rock, but um, yeah, we'll see. Wood turtles will hibernate in this kind of stuff too. Maybe a painted, maybe even a spotted. We'll see. This is the culprit right here. Tried to deceive me. This fucking thing. Wood turtles are semi aquatic, which is kind of like bi aquatic. They like the land and the water equally, but it really depends on the situation. Winter time is water time. Summer time is land time, usually. Coon was screwing around over here in these bushes. Possible he was going after a wood turtle, maybe. And another one right here, hanging on the bottom. It's not as deep right here. Let's see if I can get a good look at this one. 
a little bit of the speckles on the back foot there, hind foot, broken out a little bit of yellow on the ridge, a little bit of yellow dots on the head. There we go. See the head, see the hind feet there. That's an adult. Can't tell the sex without pulling it out. It was funny I said that about the coon and um, I was kind of half joking, but this is right where that coon was. Look right there. Very exposed wood turtle in here. Wouldn't surprise me at all if it was going after it. That's why they try not to be as exposed. And you can see how there's a newt behind it moving around, how it's much different color than the rest of the water around it, which means it's probably come out recently, like you know, today, and it's sticking out like a sore thumb. I think usually they're probably gonna be under a lot more cover. A day like today is just a great day for them to come out and get some warmth. But there's always a trade-off, big risk. Got the coon out here squeaking around, looking for it, mink, otter if they're around, even a bobcat might go after one there uh it's like a big burger laying around in the creek a little juvie guy right here and not surprising on this spot here noticing about the pools that i don't find them in because it's uh just as important as the ones that i do there's not a whole lot of big leaf packs in this one and it's not is gouged out, it's more consistent. So it kind of makes sense that I only find one little juvenile in here. Keep learning. Keep blasting up on these areas because I'm too busy looking at the ground. Really look out ahead a lot and scan to see if there's anything basking. I saw a ripple dead center in this pool. Might be from one swimming around or it could be from a fish. Um, I suspect there's something in here. Kind of surprised I haven't seen one basking yet. I mean, it is windy, but I should still have seen one by now out. I kept the camera out, I must have jinxed it because I can't believe there's not one in this pool here. Perfect, given what I've seen so far, but they could be jammed up underneath these roots in this log jam and I'd never see them. Maybe they're dwindling, I don't know, we'll see. This video makes finding wood turtles easy, but rest assured, even in a densely populated stream, you might not see any on a day like this one. The stream size, its current water level, the bedrock geology, the forest type, the weather, and many other factors all critically affect the detection rate. That is, how many turtles I see compared to how many actually occur there. As you'll see in part two and other videos, I check streams just a few miles from here of similar size. I see you shining all by your lonesome in here. You can see this one from a mile away. Bright orange sticking up. Eh, it's not as much now. Look at all these fish in here too. Just cruising around. This thing wasn't so damn sluggish, it might have an easy meal. Well, relatively easy. Probably not that easy to grab one of these suckers. Minnows, shiners, chubs, whatever the frig they are. I was really confused because I saw this thing sticking up. I thought it was like a small turtle. And I thought it was like a plant root. Because I didn't see eyes. <laughs> And then I tapped it and it just shot back down. I realized it was like a pop can sized head of a snapper. I could feel them down in there. I'm not gonna try and pull them out, but yeah. Must be a big one. Man, you telling me there's not one in here somewhere? That's a fucking mistake. I guess I'm just getting greedy.
shopping goes. I wonder what the hell is going on here. Not seeing any. This big ass pole. There's one here. One right there. Just chilling. It's a cool looking one there. Look at that shit. Yuck. Oh, he's got him up in there too. He got an indent there. It's a male. Get him out of here and get him back in the water. Oh, that's a really pretty one. Wow. Let's come out of there. We'll get some of these leeches out. No. Oh, you are cool. You are really cool looking. So he's got this uh, flat but kind of dome shell. Got these little ridges, these bumps. It's not smooth like a red-eared slider or a painted turtle, but it's longer and flatter than a box turtle, a snapping turtle. Got those bright orange legs in there. One of the nicknames they called them was Old Red Legs. This one's probably about, just quick glance at its rings here, about 20, uh, 20 years old maybe. I don't know, get them back in there. There he goes, marching them all on the bottom. That's what they do. free of most of its leeches. Oh shoot, I didn't even realize. I think it only has three legs. Yeah, it does. It's too busy screwing around with the leeches. It's pretty common for wood turtles to be missing legs. Parts of their tails, they, they like to fight over the ladies and they like to get beaten by things like coons. This one, still going strong though. Scratch all of that, it has four legs. It was just hiding the other one, I guess. I don't know, what a weirdo. Holy shit, dear, take it easy. Freaking psycho that all busted up this one was just not having anyone's shit burying its head in there I ain't getting up for nothing so as expected my waders did not hold up not to say I guess it's pretty much soaking wet whatever that's what I expected what are you gonna do you don't want to get wet, don't get in the creek. So I found uh, about 20 or so wood turtles, 15 or 20, way more than what I expected to find, which is awesome. It's a Christmas miracle. I'm used to looking for them near my house where um, there aren't as many and I knew I had a better chance out here, but uh, still pleasantly surprised, I guess. Um, on a day like today where it's been cold for a while and then it got warm they're just much more detectable it's not as though there's a ton like a super dense amount of wood turtles in the stream which there's obviously a healthy population but we're just seeing them or i'm just seeing them today at a time when they're most detectable i could go here tomorrow and i probably wouldn't see any or one or not as many you know it's just right time right place getting lucky and yeah.